Cheers. They want us to hold a press conference. What? I couldn't. Oh, they think it's going to be the best way to find the mother. Appeal to her. You know what I'd like to do to her? Anyone who could dump a baby like that. What's going on? Sorry? If you're trying to drag Linda into this. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm just take the, the usual term discuss. is helping the police with their inquiries. They're trying to make out that not only did my father kill Kim, that I helped him. Well, Biff, tell them. You haven't been arrested yet, Miss. Just Dave. tell me why Linda is here. It's nothing. It's nothing to worry about. Thank you. Come on, Miss Dave. Here's to tomorrow. The return of Colin to the end of the Burger Wars. Hmm. And what happens if they say, oh, no deal? Eh? Well, what if they don't want him back? I mean, think about it. If it were Butch. I don't know. Aren't you supposed to be taking over from our man in gardening? We should interrogate him. No, your enemy. We do know him, Madeline. His name is Colin. And his boss is called Bob. Eh? And his boss is boss, eh? Mr. Big. This is beginning to sound more and more like the Godfather. All I do is find out. Ask him to make a pizza. We torture him. Hmm. Better idea, we take him to the pub tomorrow dinner. Oh, and what are we going to do? Frighten him into thinking that it's his round? Come on, Dad, let's get over there now and hit him. Lisa Love, I'm warning you now. Things are going to get very nasty. You're not going to do out extreme? Hmm? No, I don't mean that. This is the last of the beer. I have to remind you, you are still under caution. Why did you buy that cuffling from the lad? It was just a reward. It was my father's. I was pleased he'd found it. And overjoyed that he brought it to you, not us, I bet. No, of course not. It was nothing to do with the police. Oh, come on, Zoe. You're an intelligent woman. Your father's cufflink was found at the quarry. And you think it's got nothing to do with us? be a perfectly innocent reason for it being there. Your dad's not a well man, is he, Zoe? No. Might have been difficult for him to push that car into the quarry on his own. I've tried to tell you that before, but you wouldn't listen. Maybe he had some help. Maybe that's why you knew how important the cufflink was. Maybe you saw him wearing it that night. Maybe you even gave the car that last little push. <laughs> That's nonsense! Why? You love your dad? Yes, but I wouldn't... And you hated what Kim tried to do to him. So, how far would you go to protect your father, Zoe? Bribing a little boy to keep his mouth shut? Or murder, Zoe? Still nothing? No. I suppose if the police were coming for me, they'd be here by now. You? Yeah. Don't you know Zoe's party piece? Little Miss Innocent. She's been doing it since before she could walk. Batter wouldn't melt. It was that nasty Christopher. So it's not like that. Well, there's a surprise. She's fooled you as well. I'm going to bed. I'm sorry. Everybody thinks the worst of me. But all this was Zoe's idea. Keeping the cufflink from the police, spying off the kid. I'm frightened, Sophie. I'm sure... I'd like to think I could count on you. Of course. You mean a lot to me. I know you and I haven't always hit it off, but... Well, I'd like to make up for that. So, why don't you stay down here with me? And we can keep each other company. I'm tired. Sorry. Sophie, I need a friend. And I'm a very good friend to have, not a good enemy. Well, that's a risk I'll just have to take, isn't it? And in case I can't tell my friends from my enemies, I always keep my bedroom door locked. Good night. Where's Monday? 
Maybe they rescued Colin, captured her. No, I would have heard. And there'd be at least one of them lying there, dead. against the Geneva Convention? Inhumane treatment of prisoners? Yeah. Well, where the hell have you lot been? Mandy? He's your enemy. He blew up your munch box. Well, you lot were supposed to take over an hour ago. And I got bored. Ah, it ain't no fun, this. Well, it weren't. Bored, it's time you took over. Only guarding me. Just making promise. No tongues. <sighs> You OK? I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I know. You make sure nobody else can, either. Sorry. The baby. My baby. What I did. Then you were confused. Now I feel so guilty. And uh, it was a long time ago. No. Feeling sorry for myself when Zoe's in that place being questioned. I won't worry about her. She's tougher than she looks. You know, I think she'd sop all the money and the rest of it for what I've got. I love you. Speak to that old girl over there. Uh, excuse me. Morning. Um, the baby left in the village yesterday. Do you know anything about it? Oh, why? Can you keep a secret? It's my love child, born out of wedlock to the local gamekeeper, Seth Armstrong. <laughs> oh, cut it. Thank you very much. Oh, well, if anybody from round here knew out about that baby, they'd be trying to help not blabbing it to the world, because anybody as desperate as that would need help. Stupid questions. Even the village idiots get up early around here. <laughs> you know, when you all lot got me, I thought I'm a dead man, fed to pigs and that. Silly boy. Butch is very particular about what he feeds them. <laughs> right! One of them are you outside. You don't mess with the dingles and get away with it. Dad, he's got a breakfast. Hmm? Look. You have it. I'm thinking of turning vegetarian anyway. A veggie? I've been reading about Buddhism. And I know what goes in burgers. You are what you eat. Yeah. And who wants to be a radish? Well, I like the sight of blood. Especially when I'm wanting answers. What do you want to know? What do you know about... It being April Fool's Day! <laughs> 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 She's the most beautiful little thing. I don't know how anybody could abandon her. They reckon that the baby's going to be fine. It's the mother that's going to need medical attention. I'm sorry, it's just the thought that... Have you any message for the mother? Whoever you are, your baby's gorgeous. Please, I'll only regret what you did. All right, lads, I think that's enough, eh? Come on. I'm going to go into Hotton, find a replacement for the dear departed Mandy. Oh, I'll see if the invitations are ready. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy your coffee, and if you want to do something, you can do some swatting. Some what? Some swatting. See if you can tell the difference between a Georgian and a Victorian dresser. By the time I get back, bye. Find the clothes, will you? Let me help you. Oh, dear, thanks. Oh. I thought she wasn't supposed to be working. Betty D is just trying to please, all right? Yes, and we all know what'd please Eric Pollard, don't we? 
Her ladyship here taking the job off a of poor pensioner who's just trying to keep body and soul together. Did they know? What, what, what did you tell them? Not much. They knew everything. What do you mean, everything? That the boy at the Sugdens found the cufflink belonging to Dad near where Kim's car was. Why the hell else do you think I've been there all night? What about me? Did they know that I knew? What? Well, think about it. I could be in big trouble. You? Yes. Conspiring to pervert the course of justice or whatever. They didn't ask about you. <sighs> I thought you might have been concerned about Dad, or even me. Well, you're out now. For the moment. But don't worry, if I'm dragged back there, I won't even mention your name. All right, Cole. You warm enough, mate? Ah, uh, just about. <laughs> this another April Fool's gag? Ah, that was Daft Butch's idea. Thought we could uh, soften you up a bit, you know, get more out of you. Oh, I can't tell you out. Might end up in a beating, sorry. Now to what I get from him. The boss. Mm. Ah, ruthless he is. I mean, we Gambinos, we don't scare well, easy, but... Gambinos? Gambinos burgers. Well, renowned throughout Ottenham district. Well, you don't, like... <sighs> You're not Luke Italian. Ah, my mum's from Scunthorpe. All oh, right. Chief took control of operation in prison off my dad. Kept me on because I'm family. Family. Been planning every move in prison <laughs> till his phone card ran out. <laughs> now he's out. Brim sent us to blow up your caravan as a warning. Said you'd get the message, but you didn't. So, uh, what happens next? You take me to rendezvous at Connelton Bridge tonight and keep your fingers crossed that the boss isn't out for revenge. Where are you going? The Glovers, I told you. Dropping Emma off at the vets on the way. I thought you wanted to go looking at houses. I looked before you got here. I thought you might find some little gems I'd overlooked. It makes a little gem with at least two bathrooms. Will's not in there again. In the shower. It wasn't so long ago he thought his socks were still clean after a week's wear. <laughs> and just put that aftershave on again. You can smell it slithering under the door. Don't let that put you off your breakfast. <laughs> that chance. Can we go? Oh, right. You'll be much better looking for a place on your own. Hey, I'll come with you. Yeah? Well, because I'm too lazy to get a job, I'll be spending more time in the house than any of you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, would you count us at here? Thank you. Would you like to see a menu? Please. And two teas. OK. What do you think you're doing? Taking a menu to table six. Table six? I sat them down. I hope you don't mind. Oh, you're practising, are you? Just helping. Yes, well, we don't need your help. Especially if your idea of helping is taking somebody's job off them. Oh, thanks, Dee. It's absolutely crazy this morning. Yeah, well, you're the crazy one if you can't see what's going on here. Now, I'm telling you, no matter what you think, Pollard will have you working morning, noon and night. And if that saves him a wage, <laughs> so much the better. It's ain't a notice, Dee. I appreciate your help. Morning. Girls. <clears throat> A word of advice. Never sleep with Terry Woods. Paddy's new roommate. Mm. We know mate of mine. He keeps snoring like that. Oh, for the chance to snore. 
No, I don't suppose you got much sleep last night, did you? Those flipping reporters are still out there. A pity the girl that has to face that rat pack. She won't be from round here anyway. Why not? Oh, we'd know, wouldn't we? I mean, who could it be? Maybe somebody who couldn't cope. Somebody in our position. And what do you mean by our position? Well, think about it. Living with a mum and dad and tuppence a week coming in. Oh, we'd manage. We certainly wouldn't do something as awful as that woman did. Let's change. Thanks. See you again. Thank you. Bye. Can I wash these dishes for you? Oh, there's no need, Dee. Betty will do them. Oh, please. I don't like to do nothing. <sighs> OK, thanks. Oh, do you want your bill? May we just go through to the kitchen? I'm sorry. Look, what's going on? Do you are to Dela Cruz? Yes. My name is Woodward. I am an immigration officer. I'm Detective Constable Adams. Duetta de la Cruz, you are under arrest for working in breach of your conditions of stay in contravention of Section 24 of the Immigration Act 1971. D does not work here. We were in the tea rooms for quite a while, Mrs. Glover. We saw her. You no, know, you see, she was just helping out because we had this rush on. There was this baby. I'm sorry, I was there myself. Having a rush on or not, she was working. Her visa doesn't allow it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Find Eric, please. D, don't worry, I'll get Eric now. This is all my fault, isn't it? No, Betty, if it's anybody's, it's mine. I shouldn't have let her work. I don't know what Eric's going to say. Well, I want a meat. Yeah. In an hour? I know it. Yeah. Right. We can't go in. She's not ill, is she? No. It's policy. We're not family. We're the closest thing to family she's got. Then she does have a mother out there somewhere. Yeah, who doesn't want her? Oh, Biff. I'm really tempted to take her home. What? Well, it's fate, isn't it? I mean, all the places that she could have been left. And she turns up on our doorstep. It was Zoe's doorstep. Yeah, but it was us who found her there. If nobody claims a bit, shall we see if we can? Lynn, there is one gorgeous little baby in there. But their mother's going to come back for us sooner or later. Yeah, but... but do you really think they're going to let us adopt her? I don't have a proper job and we don't have a place of our own. We'll have our own babies. Lots of them, won't we? Yeah, sure. One day. That sounds like my dad's we'll see. And we'll see always meant no. I, mean, I, I don't think this is the right time to be talking about a family. Like I say... You will get a proper job. And we will get a house. Yeah. It's just that I keep having this nightmare. That we have a son. Or worse, a daughter. It looks like Roy. <laughs> Yes, I believe a Mr. Eric Pollard's coming in to see you today. Oh, right. Um, did he happen to say where he was going on to next? No. All right, then, thanks very much for your help. Bye. Oh, Betty, where's he got to? Well, you've got enough cheek showing your face in this village again, Tom Bainbridge. You don't think I'm going to wait on you as well? I'm not here through choice. Some small-minded person sent a poison pen letter to my new headmaster. I've lost my job. Are you insinuating that I had out to do with that? Well, it's just the sort of thing you do. Mean, spiteful. For one thing, I wouldn't waste the ink on you. And for another, if I've got out to say to folk, I say it straight to the face. And I don't believe in being deceitful, betraying trust and letting everybody down. Well, if you find out you did do it, let them know they might be able to hurt me and Tom, but they're never going to be able to split us up. Mm. 
You do realize you're entitled to legal representation. But why should I need it? I've done nothing wrong. There's an endorsement in this passport, Mr. La Cruz. It says you are not allowed to work in this country. I wasn't working. You were helping out. Yes. I don't want to take anybody's job. What you did was illegal. It means you are liable to be deported back to the Philippines. I want to wait for my fiancé before I say anything else. I've been thinking, what do we get out of giving Colin back? And then to the burger wash, son. Use your love. But, Dad, we haven't got a burger van no more, so what's the point? The point is, we've outwitted them. Oh, right. Eh? Uh, right, left hand on blue. I haven't done this before. It's great. Well, go on, move your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're only teaching Colin how to play. Where's Marlon? He was supposed to be on guard duty. Oh, he, he had to go out. Oh, do we have to take Colin back tonight, Uncle Zach? I don't mind staying. Give me strength! He is an hostage! A prisoner of war! Take him back to outhouse. And Mandy. No fraternising. Too late, Uncle Zach. We've already Aye, aye. You wanted a meeting? Aye, uh, I've come to offer you the chance to sort things out, you know. Man to man's... Oh, hey! <laughs> Get off! What's going on? Ah! Ow! Ah! You're pinching me off! Ah! Get off! Your fiancé. No sign of him yet. Sorry. Do you reckon Tate put Zoe up to getting that cufflink back? No, if you ask me, she just panicked. So it's quite possible Frank doesn't even know we found it. Yeah, no one's been to see him today, I've checked. In that case, it might be worth confronting him with it. It might just be enough to make him confess. Where on earth have you been? Do you know there isn't a chef, fish fryer, Eric, or even a school? Eric, they've taken D. What? <clears throat> I've been ringing all over for you. I didn't know, but the immigration people were here, and they saw her work. But she hasn't been working. She was just helping us oh, out. For heaven's sake, Kathy! you know she's not supposed to. Eric, I am sorry. Where the hell have they got her? Hot and police station. Eric, I am really sorry. Oh. 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 Well, Francis, we know everything there is to know about you. You're not that clever. I'm not Butcher Peabrim. Say that then, boss. I said I'm not Butch. I'm not Butch, you bunch of... Dad? There's, isn't it? What the devil are you on about? And what sort of a state do you think you're I in? I saw him on the news. My Brian and that wife of his. It's their baby, isn't it? You'd better come in quick. I know what's happened. That baby were hers. Oh, no, no, 
know. You've, you've got it all wrong, David. <gasps> and I bet you put them up to it. She was pregnant when they got wed. When I told him about having Huntington's disease. And now he's just dumped that poor little baby. Mr. Pollard. Uh, you've got D. My fiance. That's right. You gotta let her go. We're, we're getting married. I wouldn't count on it. Oh, Vic, I'm glad it's you, love. What's up? Your mother. What? She's turned up at our house drunk. She's got it into her head that that baby that was found is yours. Oh, hi, Betty. Come on in. Oh, hi, love. No, I can't stop. I just want to borrow your husband for a minute. I'm a bit of lifting once oh. doing. <laughs> right, well, I'd, uh, I'd best come now, then. Uh, what about your tea? Um, just keep it warm, will you? I won't be long. All right, OK. Bye. See you, love. <laughs> Oh, this one looks all right. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> Charlotte got the fright of her life. <laughs> yeah, I looked out the back door and there's this big black and white <laughs> face looming over the wall. I didn't know you were frightened of cows. This wasn't a cow. This was a farmer. <laughs> 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 she had this message for the mother. Whoever you are, your baby's gorgeous. Please. They've not found, found the did. mother yet? No. If, you... if that baby had died, I'd have charged her with murder. Manslaughter, at least. How can you say that? You don't know anything about the circumstances. I don't need to. Will you shut up? I'm trying to watch this. You tell me how anyone could just dump the baby like that. How any woman could. And what if it's some poor village kid who don't tell her parents? Or a mother with a house full of kids already? Claiming benefits? Sponging off society? You'd surely be glad if she didn't want to burden the state anymore. Whoever she is, she could have done us all a favour by keeping her legs together in the first place. I've told her she's not supposed to work. She was just... Helping out, yes, I've been told. Well, then. Whether Mr La Cruz was being paid or not is irrelevant. Her entry visa states quite clearly that she is not allowed to work. I understand you are getting married. Uh, uh, yes, uh, look... Right. Here's what you're to do. First, get married. Second, send off to the Home Office for a 12-month visa with your passport and marriage certificate. And third, Mr. La Cruz, don't work. Don't help out. Don't lift a finger. Otherwise, you will be liable to deportation. And no further action will be taken? Not if you do as I said. No. Now, you're free to go. Ah, Cathy, uh, didn't yeah. think you worked nights. Nice. I'm a bit of a crisis. It was either me run things or shut up shop. Do you not think it's time for a proper beer? Well, you mean the wool pack? Mm hmm Mandiola just started a shift. Now, there's a girl who looks like a barmaid ought to. No, I think we'll give it a miss, Jar. Woolpack's not exactly my favourite place at the moment. Well, suit yourself. Cheers, mate. Cathy, how long's Eric going to leave you in the lurch, then? Oh, you tell me, Terry. <laughs> Listen, I know I don't look much like Clark Kent, but uh, under this shirt I've got my Superman outfit on. I bet you say that to all the girls. Only those who look like they could do with an hand. Well, there's no need to nip into a phone box to get changed. You look fine to me. Table 8, the one in the corner. Cheers. Yeah. So all this stuff that you came up with at the wedding about my dad having this illness, you weren't lying? Why should I lie about something like that? Because that's what you've been doing every single day of my life, Mum. Well, I'm not lying. Your father's got Huntington's disease. The doctors reckon there's a fair chance you've got it. Yeah. And now you've got this crazy idea that the baby we found is mine and Linda's. I notice you don't bring the last round to tell me for herself. Or are you ashamed of me? She knows not about this. 
You've not told her, have you? Don't you think that poor kid's got a right to know she could be a widow by the time she's 40? That her kids might all be dead before she's an old woman? No sign of Marlon. It's been six hours, Zack. Well, there's still three hours before we have to hand Colin back. Plenty of time for him to come home. Maybe they've got hold of him. Yeah. Nah, nobody's got hold of him. How long is this going to take? As long as it takes you to come up with some answers, Frank. Would you mind telling me what new evidence? How can there be evidence for a crime I didn't commit? You'll find out soon enough, Frank. Come on. We're going for a little ride in the country. Mind your head. Thanks. Oh, I thought you might be having a little celebration. What? Well, I'm still trying to puzzle out whether you meant all this to happen or whether you just dropped lucky. What are you talking about? Well, you've handled this, this business with the cufflink so badly, I'm beginning to think you, you've actually done it on purpose. Have you been drinking long? Dad's handed you control of the estate. Don't try to tell me that you're not beginning to like it. Now the police have got that cufflink in evidence, Dad's gonna rot away in jail. And you, you've hit the jackpot. I can't believe you think I'd do this to him. Well, I'm surprised you haven't, haven't been to see him today, you know. Tearfully confess how you've made certain that he's gonna be locked up and they're gonna throw away the key. Leave her alone, you bully. Well, go and change the nappy, you silly girl. She's the one that spent the night trying to protect your father. And you. She's exhausted. You're the one he trusted. His little princess. And if they do convict him, it'll all be down to you. It's brilliant, Zoe. Brilliant. I can't say it was a pleasure, Mrs. Eggleton. Don't worry. The feeling's mutual. No kiss for your mother. Don't hate me, Brian. Don't hate me. So, she wasn't lying at Christmas. What are you going to do about it? I don't know, Betty. I've been finding out about this disease. It might not be as bad as she's making out. Might not. I've got no more than a 50-50 chance of having it. And there's nothing to say I'm going to develop it early. I could be well into my 70s before anything happens. Oh, it's all ifs and buts, lad. What about your children? It'd be the same for them. They'd have a 50-50 chance. And then it'd start up all over again. No. No. You've got to find out. Once and for all. Well, I never thought you and I would be walking through this place again. This calls for champagne. Yeah. Hey, old Eric. Uh, where's Cathy? She's upstairs looking after Alice. I'm holding the fort for a bit now. Oh, oh, that's very kind of you. And uh, what's with these sandwiches? Well, my culinary expertise stretches to uh, fry up for one. Sandwiches I can manage. Oh. Everything all right? Emigration. Thanks, Sir Eric. Uh, if you see her so much as touch a plate or a glass, you have my permission to pin her to the floor. <laughs> Might take you up on that. I'm glad today's over. I was so frightened. You know, when Cathy told me that they'd taken you away, I thought my world would come to an end. What would you have done if they'd sent me home? My darling, Dean. 
I'd follow you to the ends of the earth. Somebody must have tipped them off. I wonder who. They can't hurt us now. Yes, well, we'll just have to make sure there are no more misunderstandings. Uh, first of all, we have to keep you clear of this place. But it's the only way I can see you. No. Not the only way. I shall just have to find a way of spending less time here myself. Hey, Eric, now you're back, I'll be off. Uh, do you have to go? Well, I've no better on if that's what you mean. Only I'm looking for a replacement for the dear, delightful Mandy. Eric, I'm a bar manager, not a chef. I'm looking for a barman. And I'm a bar manager. Ten years' experience. Is there a difference? No, an Eric, about 50 quid a week. <laughs> so, uh, take it or leave it. <sighs> Don't look like I've got much choice. Good. Well, in that case, could you uh, bring a bottle of champagne to our table? Ah, uh, and one or two of those sandwiches will go down very nicely. Yeah, have you tried the vet surgery? Oh, right, I see. Um, well, Zoe's not available right at the moment, but I can take a message. What name is it? Oh, right. Yeah, I'll make sure. That was a call for a vet. On emergency. Oh, no. I forgot with everything. I'm supposed to be on call tonight. Who was it? Jack Sugden. I don't think I can face him, Sophie. I really don't. They're acting crazy were frightened of him. Zach, don't you think it'd be better if I went to talk to him? No time for diplomacy. I'm like Mohammed Ali, all keyed up, ready for off. Before you go, Colin here wants a favour. I thought our Mandy give him plenty of them. No. He wants you to hit him. Sounds good to me. Hang on. Why? If I look like I haven't been hurt, they might think I'm one of them collaborators. You're right. <laughs> Where do you want the bruises? Hang on! Might be a trick. He wants us to beat him up, so his lot will take revenge on Marlon. I thought you said he didn't think he got Marlon. I'm willing to take the risk. <laughs> make up! Make up? I can make him up to look like he's been beaten up. That way, nobody gets hurt. I'll have another pint, please, sweetheart. Oh, no roommate tonight, then? No, no, I left him in the wine bar nursing a drink and looking through the situation's vacant column. I'm sure he'll find another job. Oh, I'm sure he will. But I must say, the decor in this place has improved 100% since he left. <gasps> the other woman in my life. Hello, what can I get for, uh, boss? No, Paddy, listen no, to no, me. No, no, I... no, 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 no work, no work. Drink first. How much have you had? This is my first pint. In that case... And before that, I had a couple of whiskies and a bottle or two of lager. Why? Never mind. going to see you again. Disappointed? Well, no, of course I'm not. Why should I be? Somebody informed the immigration about me. Why is it when anyone's reported to the authorities that everybody thinks it's me? You're the one who hates me. Oh, and I'm supposed to be the one that's too fond of plain speaking. You accuse me of trying to take your job. Well, yes, I did. Everybody else has been so friendly, but you... Has he sent you around here? Eric doesn't know I'm here. Oh, well, come on, love. Sit yourself down. No, thank you. Right. I think we ought to get things straight. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I am worried about losing my job because I wouldn't put it past that fella of yours to kick me out and have you work in there. It's true. But I... My turn, Missy. Now. I didn't, wouldn't, and won't go to any immigration officers. I can fight my own battles, thank you. And as for hating you, I don't. I'm just worried that you don't know what you're getting into with Eric Pollard. He loves me. He's different with me. Aye. And perhaps the people that tried to get you kicked out know that. I'm sorry? It's not you they're trying to hurt, love. It's him. Your fiancé has got a lot of enemies.
been quiet all night. Sorry. Tired? Yeah, a bit. Fancy an early night then? Uh, yeah, why not? Only, it might not have been such a bad thing finding that baby. Well, if we hadn't, it would have been dead. It just made me realise how much I want us to have a family. And I don't see why we can't start now. Linda, we can't. Well, he won't be out of a job forever. Not for nine months, any row. Oh, it's living here with your mum and dad. Oh, they'd love a baby. Especially after all that business with Dave and little James. Linda, will you just listen to me? I'm listening. It's now. It doesn't matter. Look, even if we don't want a baby just yet, there's no harm in practising, is there? Going on. So, this is how it looked, Frank. I don't know what you're talking about. It was night, wasn't it? You wouldn't want to risk anyone seeing you shove the car into the quarry in daylight. And the noise. I've told you, it's got nothing to do with me. Oh, that's right. You weren't even here. Exactly. So, how come one of your cufflinks was found here? Right where the car went into the water. What? should be able to turn it. Um, Zoe, I suppose now's not a good moment. Just a minute. There you go. Right. All we have to do is wait. Sorry, you were saying. I was wanting to come and see you. Apologise for going to the police. Yeah, well, you did what you thought was right. Oh, well, I was hasty. We've had a lot of problems with young Andy, and when I realised he hadn't been lying... It was my fault for lying in the first place. Is the police doing anything about it? Oh, not much. Just spent last night at the police station trying to convince them that I wasn't involved in the murder. Oh, Zoe. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, but us apologising to one another doesn't change one basic fact that the cufflink might just be enough to clinch the case against my dad. No sign of anyone yet, Dad. They'll be here. Does my makeup look okay? Calling me on, mate. I've been thinking. That makeup's gonna wash off, you know. So? So? Well, consider this a favour. Oh! Oh! Oh, bang my nose! Oh, oh. If you broke me. Oh. Oh. It would be best feature. Lass has always said so. What do you have to do oh. that for? Because they've been messing us about all along. Oh, come on! Every time we got them, they got us back. And I'm going to get you again, Francis. And remember, I know where you live. Here we are. Why are you? Eh? Because this is what I said we'd wait. By the phone box. At the appointed time, we approach the bridge. Eden and Miss Tate, we're going over one or two things with your father. You've got Dad down there. No, wait, hang on, come on, follow her. Ignore it. Might be for us, Dad. Who knows, we're here, stupid. Right. Talk to me. Send the lad back. We'll say no more about this. We want compensation. Five thousand pounds. What for, Colin? He's about as much use as your butch. For Mandy's munch box. That old wreck. It's only worth a fiver. No deal. We're keeping Colin then. You're oh, great, Dad. Don't send the lad back if you want to see Marlon again. Look on the bridge. It's a bluff. Keep him. 
but I don't want him. Do it, lads. Are you going to change your mind, Zach Dingle? Don't worry, Bush, they won't do it. We'll settle for a grand, then. Chuck him in. Brilliant, Dad! Hold your breath, boys! Come on, boys! Keep your head up! It's all right! Get him, boys! 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 Get you! You are a dead man walking over, Dingle! Ah, of course I am, Zach. <laughs> Come on, Frank. How did you do it? She didn't go in there willing me. How many times did do I... Did somebody help you? Hired muscle? No. Couldn't risk them blabbing. Somebody you trusted. Your son would be no use. What about Zoe? You leave Zoe out of this. Too late. What? The cufflink. See, Zoe tried to cover up for you, Frank. Instead, I reckon she's made our case for us. What are you talking about? Why don't you ask her yourself? You knew about this, didn't you, Aunt Marla? I didn't. I was kidnapped. Abducted. All my life you've been doing this to me, Albert Dingle. You're not going to believe this, Zach, but honest, I didn't know it were you. You blew up Mandy's munch box. Oh, well, by then I knew. Right. This is fighting talk. I thought it might be. Which first? Face or guts? Hang on a minute. Are there any rules to this scrap? Hey. Shirley, come down here and smack him. <laughs> Got yourself a girlfriend of your own at last, have you? Hold that punch. <laughs> Shirley? Whoa. You mean they took you from the funeral and arrested you? I was trying to conceal evidence. But, but I don't understand any of this. Dad, your cufflink was found here. At the murder scene, it's more evidence against you. The police spent all last night asking me if I could think of another reason why it could be here. And I can't. No. Zoe, no. Not you. Please. If I was going to murder her, I'd have blown her pretty head off with a shotgun. And then they asked me if you knew any people, any friends that you could pay. In which case, it would have been their cufflinks here. But you could have come here to watch, to make sure that she was really dead. You've got it all worked out, haven't you? I don't know what to think anymore. You know... Whatever she did, whatever she said, she could never come between you and me. But do you know what? Now she's dead. She's managed it. No, Dad. Take me back to prison. <laughs> <laughs>